Hey everybody, this is Trey. Today we're playing the last part of Alan Wake, episode 6. Um, <clears throat> I've already played through episode 6, and when I went to check out my recording, my audio was off. So, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I guess, replay this for you. Gosh, man, it's defeating feeling right there. And I don't know what this special is. I might check that out later. But let's go ahead and get this game over with. Previously on Alan Wake, I wrote a horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane. Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. He left something behind to help me. The clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake. The clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. explode and the light hurt my eyes i needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain all right in one of my finer moments of self-deception i swore to quit drinking ah the sunglasses made the world look bearable oh. now i could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun Pop these pills and we'll get on the road. The pills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. You have one new message. Ow! Are you still asleep? Wakey, wakey! You should have your show on your table. If Alice wasn't too mad to record it. Yeah, she called me earlier and really chewed me out. Yeah, yeah, we went a little overboard last night. But parties are a part of this business. Al, look, I'm saying this is your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your life like that, okay? I'll talk to you later, Al. Watch the show. All right. Watch the show. Let's go watch the TV. I hope everybody's doing all right. Um, it is, what time is it? It's 11.30 at night when I'm recording this. I had the opportunity. I on the talk show the previous night, talking about my latest book. The show was supposed to be waiting for me on our TiVo. I had the opportunity to uh, play at 1 o'clock, and I took that chance, and that's where I messed up. Mario. show tonight. I've been talking with the best-selling author, Alan Wake, about his new book, The Sudden Stop. Yeah, good read. Go buy it. No, no, it is uh, a good read. Look, uh, I'm Sorry, I'm not going to watch that again. Otherwise. No, but I'm going to do it anyway. Hey, honey. I got people who give me Did you watch the show? I didn't say anything guy, stupid, if that's what you want to know. I okay, Grumpy. You want to ask for this? Sassy pants. Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. those who haven't read the is that a bottle of ketchup? What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal and you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. Yeah, let's see how that vacation works out for you. Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. 
I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. But why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Bow, bow, bow. Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. Good luck, Al. See you later. Alligator. When I got out, it was warm and sunny. I had flicked the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I had stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. Surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape, it was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, let's enjoy this daylight while we have it. It's probably, it, well, it's going to be like 30 seconds and then it's going to get dark again. So, dark for about four days straight. I feel like Alan Wake needs to take a shower. You know what? I collected the coffee cups while I was playing my last playthrough. So, that's one thing I won't have to worry about picking up. So, I'm just going to pick up pages. We'll just keep up with that. Man, that was a sneeze, wasn't it? All right, let's go. The darkness had touched me. There was a link between us, always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. I will kill your wife. Don't do that. Whoa. I'm glad they started me off with a huge flashlight. Thought I dodged that. Jeez Louise, man. Can I get a shot? Thank you. Woo! Let's reload. Let's go. Got a page right here. We got a vehicle up there. The good thing is this chapter or this episode is short. I it took me about an hour and 15 minutes to play through it first. <clears throat> so that's, that's kind of neat. It's not too much. Let's read this one. The Dark Presence was no longer trying to capture the writer so he could create the ending it wanted. The writer knew too much. He was too strong. And he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane, something that could hurt it. Now, the darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the writer from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from. All right. Yep. 
get to Cauldron Lake. Now, even though <clears throat> I already know it's going to happen, this ain't too bad of a chapter to play through. Um, I do like the ending of it. So I want to kind of check it out again because there's, I think there's some things I missed. I got some goodies in here. Let's stop and grab some. But yeah, I don't know what I want to play after this. And I know I mentioned it in previous episodes, thinking about playing uh, American Dream. Uh, but I'm thinking about playing Subnautica. But I don't know how I would record that because it's kind of like an open, open world. And it's like, I think it's 22, 28 hours to beat if you, I guess, go through the story. And that's if you if you stay straight on the story. So, oh, I, f I forgot one. Wow, look at me. All right. I am gonna stick with the shotgun because it seems like there's more shotgun shells than uh, anything else. All right, open that. <clears throat> So, I don't know. This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. What a messy man. Look at you, Could have been me. Hey! Got there real quick, didn't you? Not another person. Working hard or hardly working. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> All right. But I don't know. I think uh, a good way to start off like YouTube videos is a good linear game, so where you don't get lost or get. Stuck in a trance. Like I, I seem to do that sometimes. Like I'll play this game and uh, I'm just forget that I'm recording. I just sit here with my mouth wide open, play it. Oh, So I might look for another another game. Maybe a cheap game. Uh, Steam sales are up and going right now for the summer. I should give a sh sh look at those. What? Let's go. How am I doing? Oh, hello.
Come on. No. Ah. Uh, Jesus. <clears throat> Alright, let's try this again. I do not need to shoot anything. If I do, I definitely don't want to have my shotgun out. So let's pull out the pistol. So what came at me first? It was, uh... Those barrels right there. That tire. Alright. I think next was that tire right there and a couple more barrels. Bridge. And that barrel and that tire. Next. Mm. No says I. Mighty man, three flashbangs and a light. I didn't even have this trouble with the first run. Back here. All right, bear with me, fellas. It's gonna be a long night. My battery reach ends up there. And I think that'll be good enough. What the hell? Come on. All right, I'm going to sit back for a little bit, let my health go up. Oh, but yeah. <clears throat> I'm excited that this game is coming to an end. Getting, uh, getting the idea of uh, how things kind of work. 
on uh, my PC. This is my first real PC game that I've played. I mean, I play a little bit of uh, Minecraft and stuff like that. Uh, Minecraft and Valorant, but other than that, this is my real, I guess, linear game. I gotta throw these flashbangs. Alright. Nice to see you too. Light. Oh, thank God. I need this light. Lights. Lights. What? Make some pick. Pick stops. Oh, okay. Don't want to deal with that guy. Oh! Don't want to deal with that guy. Come on. Jeez, still not stuck. I saw this one. All right. Never mind the pit stops. On my last leg. Well, there goes my car. Guess we walking now, boys. Well, just gotta get to that light. Let's do pump action. Alright. Wish I could get in that truck. And can I? I don't think I can. I didn't try last time. But I didn't think so. I didn't think they'd let me. Come on. Shift, Trey, shift. Shift to dodge. Let's pick these up. With E, not R. 
here talking about how I've been uh, learning how to play on keyboard, and here I am hitting the wrong keys. I'm just going to drop a uh, flare. This guy. Come on! Reload that. Let's go ahead and hit this light. Leave me alone. Grab this. Grab this paper. Alright. Alright, let's let's you know what? Let's do this. Since I've got most of the manuscripts, let's just go through these four. The bottom of Cauldron Lake was a graveyard of things the lake had claimed in one way or another over the decades. The dark presence brought them up in its wake, scattering the rotten waterlogged hull of an old boat here, the remains of a long-ago crashed airplane there, trees shattered under the impacts, the earth groaned. It didn't even notice. Didn't even notice. Zane cut its heart out, but it didn't die. The thing that wore Barbara's face kept crooning sweet nothings sugar-laced with poison. He put on the suit, untied the monster from the chair. The thing in his arms thrashed weakly, but he held fast. He stepped outside, off the pier, and into the dark water, a sinking pinprick of light descending toward a bottom that never came. The dark place I found myself in was unlike anything I could ever have imagined. It wasn't solid. It flowed. It was conceptual and subjective. For someone else, an artist in another field, it would have been very different. I could sense the story of the manuscript all around me, the words and ideas floating in the air, poised to become real. After Zane had gone, I stood alone in the shifting dream that was the dark place. I had to find a way to the cabin. I had written myself a way through this place in the manuscript. I followed the idea of a path. I had written myself across the ocean that blocked my way, and with that, there was a bridge to the island beyond. The idea of the cabin flickered in the underwater darkness. I willed the cabin to be real, and it was. Wow. Well, that's what you call willpower. Alright. 
Let's drive. Verizon's got to get that name in the game. I didn't go this back way last time. I just opened the gate and uh, <clears throat> just opened the gate and drove off. So, I think there's, yeah, here it is. What we got? Oh boy, that scared me. I heard another one. Ooh, man, that was unexpected. All right, let's see what we got. Flare, flare, flashbang, flashbang. Can I go in this door? All right, I guess I'll have to go in this one. Come on, man. Alright. Uh, let's stick with a shotgun. Need some batteries for sure, though. It's gonna get dark in some places. Alright, I'm loading up, baby. Let's not have the flare out. Up and old blue. That's hot. I'm doing that here in a minute. They're racking me up, baby. I like it. As much as I can get. Generator man. Generator man.
yep.